In this video, I will be demoing the sound of my 2021 Jackstang that has been modded fully to Kurt's prototype specs. Her name is Proto. I have done a few more mods since the last video it was in, where I compared the stock pickups to the prototype pickups. In that video, Proto was modded to the specs of how Kurt's Jackstang was when it was sent out from the Fender Custom Shop. After receiving the guitar, Kurt asked his tech to mod it further. And now, mine is modded to how Kurt used his on stage. I got all the information for my mods here, on this thread on the offset guitar's form. It's a long and intensely detailed study into the history and making of Kurt's Jackstang. I believe these 30 plus pages hold the definitive story and specs of Kurt's Jackstang. I'll link this thread in the video description. Based on the information there, these are the mods I did to mine. I had a Fender Texas Special bridge pickup installed in the neck position, and a Seymour Duncan 59 Trembucker in the bridge position. I went with the Trembucker just for the Seymour Duncan logo. The humbucker Kurt had was a custom-made Seymour Duncan 59, but the authors of the Offset Guitars thread came to the conclusion that the regular 59 you can buy now is very close to what was custom-made for Kurt in 1993. There is a misconception that the humbucker in Kurt's Jackson was either a Seymour Duncan JB, just like his Inutro Tour Mustangs, or a DeMarzio H8. I believe that for years, but the authors of the Offset Guitar thread went as far as interviewing Larry Brooks, the custom shop master builder who built Kurt's Jackstang, and he confirmed that it had a custom made 59 humbucker with the Seymour Duncan logo on it. Next, I got a custom solid white pickguard from Lomic Guitars. I sent them my stock pickguard to Trace, and now they are offering custom pickguards for this run. Who runs Lomic Guitars is a huge Kurt fan too, and he custom made my pickguard to be exactly like Kurt's. There are three screws along this side instead of five, no edge bevel, and it's one ply. I cannot recommend Lomit Guitars enough. I'll link the store in the video description. So those are the mods I first had done. The following is what I had done after, to match how Kurt played his Jackstang on stage. I had a Goto Tunomatic bridge installed. When Kurt got his iconic Jaguar, this style bridge was already installed on it. He loved it so much that he had this style bridge installed on basically every Fender guitar he got after the Jaguar. Because of the bridge's height, the neck needed to be shimmed. I had that done to mine, as Kurt probably would have had done to his. I also had the tailpiece flipped. I like using trem bars, but I want this guitar to be as accurate as possible. And lastly, I had Goto tuners installed. They look similar to the stock tuners, but I have found that the tuning stability has greatly improved since having them put in. The only thing I could do to go any further would be to have the pickup switches cut. I decided not to do that because, aesthetically, I just don't like how cut switches look. Plus. Kurt only had his switches cut before the European leg of the Nudro Tour, as live pictures show. So we can say Proto is accurate to the US leg of the tour. I don't blame Kurt for wanting them cut. These are the switches on my 95 Jackson and they stick out like mountains. I imagine his were like these. Fender corrected this and the switch height on this run is much shorter and I haven't had any problems with accidentally hitting the switch while strumming, but I have run into that when playing my 95 Jackson. So those are all the mods. In conclusion, I changed almost everything you can change on this guitar, which definitely added on to the price of buying an already overpriced guitar, but this was a fun project and I'm extremely happy with the end product. I believe that I have made this Jack Sting as close to Kurtz as I possibly can. You'll now hear how it sounds. Proto is tuned a half step down just like Kurtz was. I'll be playing a variety of different Nirvana songs to try to showcase all this guitar can do on clean and distortion, and I will be starting with showing how each pickup mode sounds on clean, but there will be plenty of distortion after that. I will be playing with my In Utero Tour tone settings on my Fender Twin Reverb and Sanzam Classic. The settings will be shown at the end of the video. For a few songs, I decided to have some fun with my loop pedal so I could play my favorite Nirvana solos. Let me know what you think. Would you do this mod to your Jags thing?
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other Nirvana gear videos.